Hey friends, welcome to One Little Coder. Do you know that you can actually access VS Code on your browser? Yes, that is possible with GitHub Code Spaces. GitHub Code Spaces is a, a hosted environment for a VS Code, so you can actually open VS Code and then do everything that you do with your um, computer's VS Code. But the problem with Code Spaces is that it is still in uh, early beta, and a lot of people have not got access even after requesting access. But what if you want something that is like Code Space? Um, where you can access VS Code in the browser uh, without, you know, you have to set up much. And that is where Collab Code comes into picture. Thanks to Abhishek Thakur for putting in, uh, together this package. So Collab Code is a Python package that helps us spin up a VS Code instance quickly on Google Collab. So VS Code has an open source version called Code Server. So that Code Server can be installed on any Linux machine. And that's what is happening under the hood between uh, behind Collab Code. So let's quickly go ahead and see how we can access Collab Code and uh, VS Code on our browser. So I've got a VS uh, Google Collab environment, which uh, I've not connected by the way, which is a mistake. I'm sorry. Uh, that would probably take some time. So while it is getting connected, so the simple way for us to install Collab Code is pip uh, install Collab Code. So after we install Collab Code, so you can actually see the see the documentation. There are two ways you can access Collab Code. One is um, from terminal as a command, um, like typically how you do with the CLIs. And the other is uh, within a Python code. So what we are going to do in this tutorial is we are going to look at the way how to do with Python code. So the other thing that I wanted to highlight here is Collab Code by default itself will uh, give you an ngrok instance and then uh, it will give you a link. But if you want to use your own in Grok, uh, it's always better uh, to set up your own in Grok and take authentication from there. And uh, the advantage with that is you get a slightly longer in Grok session. You have control over the URL that you get. So first we'll see normal Collab Code instance. Then we'll see how to uh, do use the other features of Collab Code. So right now we have installed Collab Code successfully. Next is from Collab Code, import Collab Code. Just slightly, you have to pay attention to the cases. So it's proper case and that is um, um, small case. So after you do that, you can just simply say collab code. And then you can just fire it up. You can like simply do it without, you know, adding any parameters. So let's do it. Before that, you can actually see code is equal to true by, by default, lab is equal to false. We have already got another video which shows how you can use Jupyter Lab on your browser using Collab Code. But this video is specifically for uh, VS Code, so we are right. We are going to leave it as it is. Code is equal to true, and let's run it. And once we run it, we would uh, we would get a Collab, sorry, a VS Code instance with an ngrok url and once we click the ngrok url the vs code instance should ideally open so you can see that it is working i have not edited this video so you can actually understand how much time it takes so click this link it would take you to a url where you would see the hosted uh, vs code environment it's very similar to code space if if ever you get code space and when i say very similar to code space uh, the reason i say that is uh, you can copy this link and then paste it on your tablet or iPad, wherever it is. So, so it is truly, you know, browser based to like, like no need for any platform or anything. So basically what has happened is this code server has got installed on the collab machine, uh, the machine that Google has given you. So as long as that session is active and as long as your ngrok tunnel is active, uh, this link would work. So let's quickly see. Um, before even we see that, I would like to also show another quick instance. So now that you saw that VS Code is uh, ready, sometimes you know you want to protect your instance with a password, and uh, that is also available here. Password is equal to let's say one little coder. Uh, and uh, while we do this, I would also show you that uh, we can use our own ngrok authentication. So when you install ngrok, you can go to ngrok dashboard, and then you would see your authentication code here. It's always not advisable to show, share your code with anyone. So I'm, I'm just making it for this video. I would reset it of this video. So take your authentication authentication code, auth token, then save it. Probably you can delete it. Then then you can say, uh, the, definitely this is not the way you use an authentication token. Probably you can use environment variable um, or a, a token file, but I'm just showing it uh, for simplicity. Okay, and now if we fire it up, 
so it would have uh, it would use our ngrog instance and also it would ask a password before it uh, it let somebody or anybody use uh, the vs code instance so then grog url so we click the url it is asking for password and you know what is the password that we gave so once i enter the password it's going to ideally take me to that place and then we'll uh, we'll write a sample python code and then we'll see how how things work and what what kind of things are there so this this ngrog url you can now take this and then open it in any browser or anywhere else like it is not this um, browser specific like uh, if if i if i want okay let me first even in fact before that uh, let me create a create a file new file and uh, let me call uh, let me you know just write a sample python file input pandas as pd i think you can sorry you can see let me zoom it in um if you want to you know change the theme color theme i want let let's say dark so change it to dark you can like everything that you do um, select uh, select a uh, python yeah um seaborn as sns and then uh, let's quickly write something df is equal to sns dot load data set of tips and um, sns plot is equal to sns dot scatter plot x is equal to total bill y is equal to um y is equal to okay i don't want to play with the indentation y is equal to tip and data is equal to df and once we have that um sns plot dot figure dot save figure i think let me just quickly see seaborn save figure mm mm-hmm. we should get yeah save fig output fig vs code dot png so right now we have successfully save created a python file so now we are going to say saying sample uh, seaborn we are saving it in the root file once you save that uh, you can now invoke your uh, terminal new terminal once we have the terminal in place let's uh, let's look for the current files so seaborn is there so python uh, sample yeah the other thing that i forgot to mention is uh, Uh, when you open vs code by default you get the python uh, installed so you don't have to ne- still install python extension for vs code it also comes with jupiter so you can do that um yeah right now we don't have files open i should have probably opened the files root file let me open the root folder now is going to slightly you know close and open again because i'm i'm making my root folder the current folder so open the root seaborn is there output vs code is there and you can see the file so let's say you want to make some change um say i want to set a title set title and what's the title title vs code browser bad title but um, yes uh, open your terminal you can use shortcuts as well if you want open your terminal say python sample executed you would get a new vs code after it gets executed no new image and then you got vs code browser and then the image so basically everything that you can do with the uh, vs code you can actually do you can set git if you want um you can uh, install any extension that you want you can do code debugging if you want like whatever code you want to debug you can debug Uh, so basically uh, you get a full fledged proper vs code editor on the browser and also the fact is that you it, it is protected with a password so you can share this link so what i wanted to show next is uh, to quickly show you how you can take this link and then open it somewhere else so let me let me get a, a chrome instance uh, which is uh, 
you know which is not this browser so like that means my google is not open so which means my collab instance is not open so but still i'm going to show you that just because you have this ngrok url and you know the password you can actually log into that and then access the same code space so this could be really helpful if you are doing a code pairing or you you're working on as a pair programming or you're working on a project university project or a team project where you want to share the code with uh, you know others so that's one advantage i think the biggest advantage is leveraging google collabs machine so if you are working on a machine learning project sometimes you may not want to actually code on a jupyter environment i mean uh, jupyter is good uh, collab environment but not every time you you actually like a jupyter uh, you know notebook uh, setup so that is the instance where you would probably want a proper ide a code editor and uh, vs code is you know one of the most popular code editors that is currently available and then if you can get vs code on a powerful collab machine i think that is um, that is a real win win uh, for anyone who does it so as you can see uh, we can successfully see this this um, on a different uh, machine so if you want you can like change color theme like um, let's say on change something you you can like totally play with whatever you want like uh, solar is light so you can play with whatever you want everything is same so like you change here and then you would see things getting changed here uh, this is this is sample editing on shaded you go here so you see that so it is really good for even pair programming and then you know you have a centralized environment in your organization like th probably if you are a big corporate you may not need this but if you are a startup this is extremely handy and uh, like i said if you get uh, your own ngrok url and then your own authentication you get a longer session and then you can start uh, leveraging that so th i i hope this is really helpful and uh, like everyone who misses code space should definitely leverage it because even if you do not have a computer all you need is you know a tablet and a keyboard bluetooth keyboard connected you have access to gpu tpu and a pro powerful linux machine and then you can actually do machine learning or any any sort of software development on a proper id that is quite popular in the entire world so um, this is quite helpful and uh, once again thanks to abhishek talk for uh, putting putting out this package if you really like this package go ahead and then give star uh, to the package and then give a shout out to the developer uh, on twitter so, uh, or linkedin wherever uh, you know you are um, you can read more about it what kind of other use cases are there like i said this this package can also be used uh, to spin up a jupiter lab instance and i have made a separate video for that i link that video you can uh, you can see it uh, at the top right and uh, thank you so much for listening uh, to me if you have any questions please let me know in the comment section otherwise happy programming and stay safe